recent studies show that women who have higher perceived stress and elevated hair cortisol are associated with more severe symptoms of perimenopause and menopause, including hot flashes, night sweats, psychosocial symptoms like mood and wanting to get a divorce, physical symptoms, um, including uh, aches and pains, uh, frozen shoulder. And this indicates that the neuroendocrine stress response interacts with reproductive hormones, and this influences symptom burden. So put another way, when you have high cortisol during perimenopause, like I do, that may interfere with both estrogen signaling in the brain and also the FSH communication loops, especially in the hippocampus, the part of the brain that's responsible for memory and emotional regulation. This is a key memory hub, the hippocampus, and it's also what seems to be most dysregulated in people who develop Alzheimer's disease. So high cortisol may put the female brain at risk for shrinkage and potentially mapped to a greater risk of Alzheimer's disease, which we know is twice as common in women than men.